for the formation staff roll. It was five hours of aerobatics and a throng of people loving every minute of it. An estimated one million people braved the traffic to see the victory machines of Operation Desert Storm and their pilots in action. You just get to see everything that happened there, the planes that fought there, and what it was all worth for our country. It was the strategic airstrikes with almost pinpoint accuracy that knocked the wind out of Iraq's sails, limiting the ground war and casualties. Among those watching today, some who helped build the planes that slugged it out in the skies over the Gulf. It's a wonderful feeling because you can actually see all the work that you did and the sweat and the bruised knuckles and it's up there flying around and doing a great job for the people that are here today. During the Gulf War, we heard a lot about Scud missiles. This was a chance to see what one actually looks like in person. And the American defense that neutralized the Scud, the Patriot missile, was also on display. There was also a stealth bomber. In all, there are six acres of displays, including a separate Desert Storm section. But it was the Sky Show that attracted the most attention. We really enjoy the show. We're waiting for the Blue Angels. So it's fun. We're yeah, we're, we're, they're all waiting for the Blue Angels to come on. <laughs> Since 1946, the Blue Angels have had the rare privilege of demonstrating to the American public the precision techniques of naval aviation. by no other jet flight demonstration team in the world today. 